Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 29 problem from the Dilute Coding Challenge Best time to buy and sell stock with cooldown. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Say you have an array for which the ith element is the price of the given stock on day i. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions as you may like. You may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time and after you sell your stock, you cannot buy stock on the next day, that is cool down one day. Let's understand it with an example. Suppose there is an agent which deals with stock each day. He can buy, sell or rest on any of the particular day. Playing by the rules given in the question, the agent cannot engage in multiple transactions. The agent at any given day will be in one of the three states. He will be in the sold state when he has sold the shares and made profit. He will be in the held state when he bought the shares. And lastly, he will be in the reset state when he does nothing on that day, that is no buying or selling. Focusing our attention on these three states, we need to find a way to move our agent from one state to another. Agent will move from held to sold state only when he sells the stock. He will move from sold to reset state by resting on that day. And now if he is already in reset state, he can choose to stay in that state by resting. When he is in resting state, he can buy stock and move to held state. Lastly, he can keep the stock for that day by resting with them and thus not changing his held state. Sell and buy operation is nothing but the movement of stock in and out of the total profit. When he sells, the price is add to profit and when he buys, the price is decreases from the profit. Let's see how each state value is derived from its previous states. Sold state will have one value which is the value in held state plus the price at which the agent sold the stock. As there are two possible ways to be in the reset state, there will be two values. First, the value of sold and second, the reset value itself. The maximum of two will become our new value. Similarly, in held state, we have two state. Either value from reset state which is reset minus price and other the value of held itself. The maximum of 2 will become our new held state value. When we write this down, we get 3 equations. We see that the new values of sold state is addition of previous held state and the current price. The new held state is maximum of previous held state and previous reset state minus price. Lastly, the new reset state is maximum of previous reset and previous sold state. The tool used in this problem is called state machine. You can check out the wiki page, link to it is in the description. Let's see the example given with the question and try to apply our equations. Initially the sold and held state will be the most negative number possible because we neither have any stock nor we have sold any till this time. These values also render the path that start from these two states impossible. We have the reset initialized to zero because at the very start of the days we would not have any money with us and hence it would become the entry point in the state machine. Computing the next state by using the equations, the arrow depicts the movement from one state to another and follows what we have discussed earlier. We move from sold to reset state, from held to either the sold state or resting in the same state. And similarly in reset, we move to held or stay in the same state. Updating the states at each day, at the end, we get the final values for each state. When we look for the path which gives us the maximum profit, it is the same which has been explained in the question as well. The answer will be the max of sold and reset because at the end, these two states are the only states an agent should be in. The agent cannot hold any stock after the last day. So this becomes our answer. Moving on to the algorithm, it is similar to what all we have discussed till now. We will have three variables depicting three states with two initialized to minimum value and reset to zero. Now we loop on the array and for each value update the state. At the end, we return the max of sold and reset state. The time complexity is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1. Here is the actual code snippet from the method. Also check out the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also let me know in the comment section what you think about the video.